Hello and welcome back to my survival world where I am building the tallest Minecraft base. In the last episode I completed a music disc farm and reached a height of 440 blocks. I also built the first of 8 custom biomes. In this episode I will build the second biome, add 9 builds to the main base and collect a few more mobs. The color of this new biome is purple. I start with a circle around the beacon made from amethyst. Then I add amethyst veins and place a layer of deep slate to separate the grass from the amethyst. Once this is done, I use moss and bone meal to give the ground this lush green aesthetic. It also automatically adds grass and azalea bushes to break up the ground. To give the biome some verticality, I add these purple crystals and also white trees made from birch wood and diorite. The leaf cover is made from different leaves to add texture. To the ground cover I add different plants in different areas to give the biome some variety. Now the beacon itself. Unlike last time this design isn't symmetrical. I go for an amethyst crescent moon with a few golden stars around it. Just like with the other beacons I will add a lot of glass to cover it entirely. And with this biome done I can now start building on the tower. And the first thing I'm gonna do is building a wood farm because I'm out of birch wood and it's a block I use a lot of. But first I need obsidian, which I get from the end island. This tree farm design is from Il Mango. It is better than my previous farm. It uses a TNT duplicator, so I no longer have to use my axes. And unlike the old farm, it also produces wood with the bark still on it. After finishing the blast chamber and the TNT duplicator, I built a tree growing area. Just like the other farm, the leaves are broken, so the farm sustains itself with saplings. The only problem is I have to continuously supply it with bone meal, but I have other farms that produce that. Since I already have built a TNT duplicator, I add a stone farm and a concrete converter to the blast chamber. For the exterior, I have 9 different builds. Since I now have large amounts of wood, I go for a wooden structure topped with some white houses and orange roofs with pumpkins. Scaffolding and lamps give me some really unique windows. The build next to it is another wooden building, but this time with a gradient. I start with terracotta and granite at the bottom and build upwards to oak wood and sandstone. I finish it all with moss, some balconies and a lot of leaves. Above the Italian townhouses from the last episode, I place a few Swedish townhouses in yellow. To the right, I place my imitation of the Franciscan Church of the Annunciation in Ljubljana, Slovenia. While most of the Baroque facade translates quite well into Minecraft, the various statues lose all details when built at this scale. For the roofs, I go with copper, again it will take some time to age. To the left of the church I put a small tugboat with a little crane and flag. There's also a chimney and a lifeboat. The gaps behind it are filled with houses made from all types of wood. In the last episode I left a gap between the Empire State Building and the minaret of the Tetovo Mosque. This gap is now filled with a Japanese castle. I use prismarine for the roofs because a lot of my copper is already allocated to another future project. Directly above the castle I place a warped and crooked house. It has a gradient starting with warped roots and then going slowly into prismarine. I make some color accents with the acacia wood and add some towers made from copper. For the next build I go into retro futurism, it was suggested by a comment, basically everything is white and there are few rockets. Lastly, the area between the wooden builds is covered by old Babylonian walls. It gives me another option to use base terracotta, a block that is rather difficult to use in my opinion. And now let me show you the inside. So the first thing we have here is the output of the massive farm above. It collects all the stone, uh, I put the stone in here, but it collects the cobblestone. It collects the wood and it collects the concrete, but I've already sorted out the wood and concrete so it's no longer here. If we take this stair we can go to the actual farm. It has four different levels. The first one turns off um, 
stuns on the save for oak trees. This prevents them from growing too tall. The second level activates the cobblestone farm. This one activates the TNT duplicate, that's the, the most important one. And this one just opens this door. This door leads to um, leads to some glass where we can see the farm in action. And if we go up here, we can also reach the concrete converter in this area. So let's get back down again and turn this off. To activate the tree farm, we would have to simply press this barrel, would then place trees against the glass block and the farm would work. And if we press the barrel again, the farm stops. Let's go back down again and continue the tour. Behind this door is access to the elevators. Um, this one leads all the way to the ground floor and the other elevators lead to other levels lower and this one is the only elevator that leads upwards. Yeah, I have the storage for the wood I've gathered. I have, I think it's mostly jungle wood because I used most of the other wood. And here I have a room for my cats. Currently I have only one cat, the other cats are in the creeper farm, but there is definitely room to add a few more cats. Maybe I will get all the cat variants, I think there's an achievement for that. If I now take the stairs, I get up to the next room. Again, I worked a lot with wood because I that's the resource I'm currently producing, so I have a lot of it. And in this area, this area it isn't finished. I want to put an enclosure here for a fox. And let's take the stairs. Yeah, I want to put two more enclosures. In this area, I want to place a goat. That enclosure will be two stories tall, so I can mimic the mountain area in which the goats live. And here, I want to place another enclosure for a mushroom. I can go up to look into the enclosures. But again, I haven't built them yet. That's the next thing I will do. Here I have also another floor with some um, candles. Exactly. I think I missed a button here. One moment. And now the button is placed. I can exit the tower to the tug boat I've built before. Next thing I'm going to do is actually collecting the mobs, the fox, the mushroom cow, and lastly the goat for the enclosures. After finishing the biomes for the mobs, I go to the smallest mushroom island I've ever seen to pick up a cow, then to the mountains to find a goat. I already have a fox, those aren't really hard to find. And as always, I'm transporting them through the nether and into my base through the nether portal. I do the same with the cow and lastly with the goat. Here we have the goat in a mountain themed enclosure. It's um, tied to a fence post and I've also increased the fence height because the goat just kept escaping. Apparently they can jump really high and I didn't know that. Here we have the mushroom cow enclosure. I went a little bit overboard with the Mushroom design, but I think mushroom is the only design that fits. And down here I have the fox enclosure with a tiger themed design. That's all for today, have a beautiful time and goodbye!